everyone, I'm Robin Roberts. Welcome to Sports Center. Tonight, our feature is about a biblical player, the chosen one, the second coming, the resurrection, the salvation. ESPN gets religion as we follow a day in the life of Abraham Lincoln Sr., Jesus Shuttlesworth, the number one basketball prospect in the country, Jesus of Coney Island. Jesus is the best thing to happen to the game since the tennis shoe was invented. Jim Phelan from Mount St. Mary's used to say, he gives me a tingle. And I think that's what Jesus does. He just, uh, he makes you excited to watch. Jesus is Shuttlesworth. He's the next phenom. He's awesome, baby, with a count to land. The guy's unbelievable. He's a PTP, a prime time player. He's the 3S man. Super scintillating sensational. He's a high riser. His game has got everything you need. He can defend, he can run, he can finish. He likes to play in a crowd, and he can pass the basketball. He makes people better. He's the real thing. He's able to do some of the things that most coaches talk about, and that is being able to be a triple threat. And that's something that we as coaches have used for many, many years, dribble, pass, and shoot. Pure shooter, fierce and defender, great player. He was coming down off a fast break, and the defender went for the ball. He brought it behind his back, he switched it back over to his right hand, went through his legs. The defender came up and kind of stutter stepped a little bit, pulled back, and rained the three. And I was like, this kid might be ready for the big leagues. He plays to win, and a lot of people play to play. This guy plays to win. He understands that if he performs better, they are going to win, but he knows how to pass. He plays with his teammates. He's, uh, he has all the attributes that, that go into be, being a winner. Well, I watched Kenny Anderson and Stefan Marbury, and I never thought I would see anybody better than those guys. But along came Jesus. There are very few players that give you 40 minutes of everything. Michael Jordan give you 35 but 40 minutes of everything he's got because of what he's overcome in his life. In terms of dealing with his sister and all of the pitfalls that come with being in a deprived situation, and in a situation that's void of any kind of leadership other than his own, he's had to be very, very self-reliant. 